Hey everyone, my name is Alice Moscato and this is the Wine Lovers Vlog. Now, last episode I told you I was going to do something special. I am making <clears throat> a veal shallot mushroom sage wine reduction sauce. Plus the veal, it is going to be outstanding. Right now I got the veal in the pan right now doing its thing. What I did with this one, put in a bowl, flour, salt and pepper, dredge the veal. But basically what that means is taking both sides, making sure it's coated with the flour, and just kind of uh, make sure the excess flour is off the actual veal itself. So put it in the pan, let it go until golden brown. This is almost done. And then I'm going to start in the actual wine reduction part. All right, guys. And now I just added one shallot, and I'm going to do a half a cup of red wine to do the reduction. Now take the pan off the heat so it doesn't risk flaming up, okay? Again, half a cup, two to three minutes on the heat, and just let it go. Two to three minutes, let the wine reduce down, okay? It's gonna look like in the pan right now, okay? Shallots with the red wine with the excess oil. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna take this wooden handy dandy spoon and get all the yummy grittiness off the bottom of the pan. All that goodness that the, the uh, veal left over on the pan, this is what you wanna do, okay? Just kinda get it all off here and let this go. Reduce two to three minutes and then gonna be adding mushrooms chicken stock and the sage okay and you will not go wrong now I was asked already if I can interchange it w with chicken of course this would be fantastic with chicken now, I actually prefer the veal and the chicken but I prefer the veal more but definitely do it up with the uh, with the chicken too it's perfectly fine okay Okay, everybody, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Almost dry, but you can still see some of the shallots. Now we're going to add some chicken stock or vegetable stock. Doesn't matter, either one. Chicken stock, and then adding the mushrooms. Already pre-sliced. Make it a little easier on yourselves, okay? Add those right in. And then let's this boil just let it go let it boil let it do its thing okay because I guarantee you are gonna love this along with the shallots chicken stock red wine and the mushrooms add some sage okay chop it up break it up make sure it's in there okay how can you not think that looks amazing? I mean, come on. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. I can't tell you how amazing it smells in my apartment right now. Look at that. It is getting to the point where we're looking for. You want that almost syrupy as I the phone goes. So after a little snafu of my phone getting all heated from the actual dish, this is going to be outstanding like I keep telling you guys. But we're getting to that point where we want to kind of taste test it, put a little salt and pepper in there, and make sure it is amazing. Do you see this? So you kind of want a consistency of almost syrup-like with this. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to do the uh, salt and pepper right now. Again, if you do not hear me talk for a couple minutes, it's just because I'm kind of focusing, making sure that everything is perfect, and I'm telling you the proper things. So, salt, pepper going in. Alright, now, it's tasting time, just for just a little culinary standpoint. Put that up here. Oh my gosh, wow. That's incredible. So, you have the the essence of the mushrooms, but that red wine, if you don't like red wine, you don't have to worry about it. It is not there. 
It is all mushrooms, all shallots. There's a little bit of hint of sage. There's some, I mean, you can, all the flavors are coming right at me and it's out of this world. Can't wait to actually start eating this. Also, guys, while you're taste testing your food, make sure you're taste testing the veggies too. You want to make sure the uh, doneness of the veggies. Here's the mushroom. A little longer. We're getting there though. We're getting there. So I want you guys to notice something. When you know when you get to you're close to the consistency that you want, I want you to look at the side of my pan, okay? It is kind of sticking to the side of the pan. That's when you know you have a pretty decent consistency, okay? I'm gonna start it again here. Uh it again here. Yeah, see it's like sticking over here. That's the consistency you're looking for. That syrupy, almost glazed look. That's what you're going to be doing with a red wine. You're going to be deglazing your pan. Getting all the ooey gooeyness off from the veal, okay? So, we are just about there. Alright guys, we are done. Look at, for posterity wise, we did it. Now, the little things are just out of this world. Now guys, I really hope you enjoyed me. Cooking for you, doing a red, uh, red wine reduction sauce. Now, please follow me on Instagram, Moscato Wine Lover 23. Follow me on Snapchat, Allie0527. Any questions down below, guys? You have a great rest of the day and Merry Christmas.